G'day everybody, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be doing the short term review slash 30 hour review of the KTM 150SS So first things first, this is a 2020 KTM 150SX, we just got it not too long ago, I've put about 30 hours on it now and I'm going to do a short term review, tell you how she's been holding up for the past 30 hours. Alright but before we jump into that we're going to show you the bike and everything we've done to it. Alright, so things I've done to this bike is when we bought it, it needed a top end so we straight away just did the top end. and. It actually had a cracked head, so we got a, a two-stroke performance, medium slash high compression head. That's what they mark the compression as, medium slash high. Uh, it's, yeah, pretty much that's the only aftermarket part in the engine. It's got the stock carb, <clears throat> everything like that. And uh, it's also got a Pro Circuit shorty muffler, nice and crisp, stock pipe. I've also put a bash plate on it, I just had a one sitting around so I've just zip tied it on there, it's not the best but it works. I've also put a back rear beefy metal rotor guard on it, save those rotors. Obviously as you can see I've put a sticker kit on it with my race number for when I start racing this thing next year. Alright yeah so that's all I've done to the bike, uh, pretty much. Uh, everything else is still decently stock, but the head uh, and the muffler, that's pretty much all the performance things I have on it, and she screams. But uh, I also have fully jetted the carb, a uh, different needle and different, they're pretty much stock jets actually, uh, they seem to work good and a little bit richer pilot, but can't remember off the top of my head what jets I put in it, but I will put that up on the screen and I'll put the needle right now. But yeah, so if you guys want a full video on, in-depth video on jetting the carb, I'll be making one of them. Righto, so now let's get into the review. Alright, so as I said, I've put 30 hours on this thing since I bought it. Uh, the terrain that I've been riding this thing is, uh, I went to a motocross track once. I didn't actually get much on the GoPro though, because they weren't allowed chin mounts on your helmet. And I didn't have my chest mount, but I took it to QMP once. I've also done a little bit of hard enduro, not super hard enduro, but a little bit of hard enduro and some like freak runs. I've also done some just flowy enduro trails on it. And sort of that's about it, just a bit of enduro stuff and a little bit of motocross. Haven't ridden this bike an absolute ton, but I've definitely ridden enough to have a understanding of how this bike works so yeah i've really enjoyed this bike so far it's a really good motor it's got decent bottom end really good mid-range and then just opens up in the top end it's just got crazy top end it revs to the moon it's a really fun and playful engine it's also really light it's like feels like a um mountain bike almost it's just super light and flickable you can just flick it around whenever you want. It's just so light. Oh yeah, the brakes on this, they're really good. Uh, the Brembo brakes front and rear. One finger is all you need. You can lock the, lock the front brake up real easy. And problems I've had with this bike so far, literally none. All I had to do was jet the carby. There was foul on a few plugs before I jetted it because it was a bit rich, but I've had no problems other, other than foul and plugs. It's been really reliable so far. Everyone's saying KTMs aren't reliable, they're wrong. <laughs> no, they're, it's been really reliable so far. All right, so now the suspension. So this is the Air Forks, WP Air Forks. 
and I'm not sure, don't know too much about the shock, but it's a WP shock. It's just a stock shock. Uh, yeah. So the air forks, people always go on about they're really horrible. I haven't had too many problems really. Uh, I've set it up a little bit stiffer right now because I was doing motocross on it. But the good thing about the air forks is you can go really stiff or you can go really soft. So you have a lot of adjustment with the air forks. You can go really stiff or really soft, which is good because spring forks, I like spring forks. They work, seem to work really good. But the air forks, I haven't really had many problems with them yet. Yeah, they don't really feel that harsh. I mean, I'm usually not too fussy with suspension, but uh, yeah, they feel half decent, I think. All right, and another thing that I really like about these KTMs is how easy changing the air filter is. So all you do is put your fingers under there, Pull that off, right, just like so. Put your air filter in here. All you do is pull these two tabs out. There's a tab there, tab there. Come straight out. Flip it back in. Probably takes 30 seconds to change the air filter if you've got another one ready to go. It's so easy, like, compared to the Sherco. And they have a really good seal, too, the KTMs. They um, push down nice and tight on the air boot. And, yeah, I never get any dirt coming in around the corners of the... Uh, air filter you don't get any dirt in and around there especially because they grease the rim but you probably don't really need to on these but it's just not going to hurt so i still do that and then to put the air filter air box cover back on you just push it up there clip got little clips it's just like so so you got little clips in there you can't really see actually but there's a few little clips you just push them back in and she's done and yeah as usual, the clutch, the Brembo clutch, it's it's really good. Super light pull, one finger you get is uh, all you need. I have hand guards on here too. This one's a bit broken, but they're actually I don't mind these hand guards. Some of the hand guards that I get, they're nice and stiff and like keep trees and stuff from smashing into my hands, but then they just break. I mean that one's a bit broken, but it's still on there. But these are actually decently stiff. They're in the middle. And they don't break really. You can bend them right around, which is good. All right, and tires I have on here are just MX uh, 53 front rear. They came on the bike. And I'm actually not minding the tires. Uh, they're a hard compound motocross tire, I'm pretty sure. They're lasting really well. They seem to grip pretty well too. Uh, but yeah, this this tire wasn't brand new when I bought it. Put 30 hours on it, and like. Still half decent. You're getting a bit worn, but it's not too bad still. It's lasting really well. And this bike, for like hard enduro and stuff, it is a motocross bike. Uh, it actually doesn't work too bad. It's not ideal because you've got a kickstarter and stuff, and the suspensions, I mean, the air forks aren't ideal for uh, hard enduro. They're a little bit not as plush as the uh, soft spring forks, but uh, they still work pretty good. Um, this thing, yeah, as I said, it's got decent bottom end power. Um, not too bad. Uh, it's got really good hit, um, which sort of you don't really want for hard enduro. You want a little bit of hit, but yeah, this thing can definitely do hard enduro. It's not the ideal machine, but it's doable on it, 100%. Uh, one of the things, you can't put a fan on it, really, because you don't have a battery. You can, but it's just, uh, yeah, if you don't have a fan, you've got to watch out with overheating these things in hard enduro. But yeah, it's... 100% doable to do hard enduro on this thing. But yeah, where this bike shines is on the motocross track or on the fast enduro stuff when you're wide open. It just has so much top end power. It sounds so good, it's just so fun to hold wide open. One of the funnest bikes I've ever ridden. KTM, so good. Just... All right, everyone. Well, this was a short term review on the KTM 150SX. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions about this bike, let me know in the comments and I'll reply to them. And yeah, well, make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next adventure, guys. Peace.